Hi everyone, I'm Leandra from Paper Artsy and this is a video showing you some seasonal products for September 2015. Tonight's video is all about Claire Lloyd and she's come up with two stamp plates. The first one we're going to talk about is her Halloween plate. It's quite a spooky plate but it doesn't have to be. She's designed it very cleverly so that the elements could be um, witchy or spooky Halloweeny, or they may not be so for example this um, figure here the girl could be used with or without the hat so she doesn't have to be used as a Halloween element it's the same with the stripy legs you could use that for witches of non Halloween types of witches it could be a good witch and you'll see from the samples that our designers have really come up with lots of amazing ideas so let's start with Claire Lloyd she's knocked up quite a few little samples here to show you um, this one could be straight out of a journaling page Page really um, so she's not really got any words on there but she's used the elements and just layered them all up nicely together and then colored those in here's a little card um, and this one's got a really nice dark background the moon really sort of pops on there um, and the little cat with its lovely green eyes the words are really a, quite a clever element, the way Claire adds them into her samples. Um, and so she's really got some humour that comes into the picture quite easily. Um, and the way she joins all of that together is quite fun. I like how she uses words in her backgrounds as well. So she just inks them up once and then stamps them over and over and over so they get paler and paler, um, which gives a really nice background effect. And then there's a last little one here. If the shoe fits, get the broom and hat to match, which I just think is fantastic. So a lot of a lot of the designers have used these words in a great way, the humour of them. So that's Claire's samples. Now let's move on to another one of our people who's done some great stuff. This is these are three gorgeous little tags from Catherine um, Carter, and she's done these. They could be perfect onto trick or treat bags. She's got nice little sparkly shoes going on there, and I love her backgrounds. You can see the backgrounds a bit better on these other samples. Okay, nicely coloured in, and really interesting background detail there. And then here she's got the three cats in a row. Great, really like that. And then we've got some fantastic samples too from Chris Cresswell. Uh, here she's got really gorgeous textural background going on, lots of lovely colours. There's some texture in there as well, which you may or may not be able to see on the camera. Uh, but a really cool hat on the cat too. I really quite like the hat on the cat. This one here, nice shiny hat for the cat. She's done this cool um, effect through a stencil of the gothic background, which of course fits the theme perfectly. And then here we've got sets of feet. And again, that fantastic quote. And the last samples on this, this section are from Lauren Hatwell. Now this is quite clever. What she's done is not only given us a real spooky um, girl, but she's added some stitching on her and on the clothing to really make her look that sort of quite um, spooky style. And what a cool way she's made little clouds in the background here and then used the words spooky, the bats, and the nice blue moon. So using black and white in that way, it's just so effective. And here's the last sample from um, Lauren. And again, she's used the word of the shoe fits, get the broom and hat to match. And again here, look at what she's done with this um, die cut to make sort of clothing. So cool. Love the colors in the hair. And she's even managed to get the legs in there to make it look like she's sitting on the broomstick. So wonderful samples and um, wonderful ideas with clear stamps. 
This is Claire's second set, uh, ECL08, which is um, full of all kinds of elements. And again, she's designed it so that the figure could be used as an angel or um, an, like an ice angel, a, a fairy, or also Mrs. Claus, um, even a queen with the crown. So she's been quite um, versatile in how she's designed that and everything comes all trimmed out, ready for you to use. So let's have a whip through these amazing samples. Um, this is by Claire herself. So a really simple, very effective Christmas um, pattern with the white on top of the blue background. Um, here's another one. Again, she's got some great words. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas, but if the white runs out, I'll drink the red relate to that and I like how she's got the um, holly on her dress so if you look on the stamp set there it's just a tiny little element but by adding it she's suddenly created a pattern on her dress quite easily here's another little one and again she's sort of made um, a fabric for the dress she's got the wings on this one and the wings have been used by the different designers in all kinds of directions a little bit of holly in the hair and you can keep it as simple as this, just a couple of um, easy little bookmarks. So that's from Claire. Now Catherine has got her little angels going on here. Christmas angels. Lovely tag. That would be great on a bottle of wine to give to somebody as a gift. And here we go, a simple Mrs. Claus. Really cool background that she's done on that as well. She's into her backgrounds. And then Chris Cresswell, she's got nice little circles going on here. Again, a bit of an ice angel, Mrs. Claus. Love this one with the um, really cool dress. So she's added all these bits of altered book paper to the dress to give some cool texture. And there's lovely texture and sparkle on the wings, raised puffy stuff. Um, and another really striking card from Chris. Black and white, lay it up. And then using the hat with, that's got um, the puffy stuff and a bit of glitter on the hat as well, which looks really cool. And then lastly from Lauren, we've got this uh, acrylic. Uh, she did an acrylic piece on the blog recently actually, so she's used some of those techniques there. She's got some glittery layers on there. Um, to create this ice angel piece. And lastly from Lauren, I've got this quite large sample. She's even used, you see the little spots on the stamp here and the, the bubbles up here. She's used that little spot there to create Christmas baubles. And then this is actually a triptych. So she's got that great background and created more of these Christmas baubles, got lovely sparkle on there. Now there's more samples on the blog post that accompanies this. Um, Annika's in Belgium and we had a bit of a hiccup with her um, samples coming back in the post because we were a bit late sending them, sending the stamps to her, it was all a bit complicated. But there's some gorgeous samples that Annika's done on the blog as well, again using sort of the Ice Angel theme. So do go and take a look at that as well. All of our stamps are now available from your local Paper Artsy stockist. We do love it when you support the independent retailers that we supply. So make sure you check out the link at the bottom of this blog post and you can buy those stamps. They're available from those suppliers now.